Wow, this draft fired literal immediately. I'm going to have to sneeze. I was going to try to do it before the draft started, but here we are. All right. Welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. It's one of these two, which is sad because they're very, very good. God, sleep is just... I think I think Mage is great, but I think sleep is literally backbreaking. Wow, two of you said Mage over sleep? My god. I mean, Mage is cool, but I've never won a game due to Mage. You can win games due to sleep. Sleep is like green... is blue overrun. I'm gonna trust my instincts and go with the sleep here. I think the sleep is much more powerful. Liliana's contract. Draw four, lose four. If I have a demon and two, three other demons, four demons? Oh my god, that's too many demons, dude. It's either shock, take vengeance, or the Liliana's contract. But Frank, you'll never get four demons. How could you play that? Well, you see. That doesn't matter. I think it's shock. Shock is the easiest to cast. I'm also, I am a fan of the the blue red decks. I think shock is. I think contract is good. Um, four life is not nothing in this format though. This format's not super genteel. Um, I really don't. I'm not a big take vengeance fan, but I guess it's fine. It's actually fine. You do have to take a hit, but you can always sleep and then take vengeance. I'll take vengeance after I sleep. Skilled Animator, Angel, and Aether Shield Artificer. All very, very good. I think this guy might actually table. We can probably see more of this. I think it's actually just a 3-3 for 4. And if we get... Uh, oh, Electro Electrify is also very good. Dang. See, my problem with this is that we need artifacts and we have none right now. Uh, my problem with this is just that you can get more of them, and we might not be a go-wide deck, so I don't think it's that great. Whereas this, even if we get, like, one uh, Aviator... Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's actually Angel here, interestingly enough. We are on pick three, but, like, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna... Like, there's plenty of times where I, I actually draft and I don't get... I don't get artifacts. Like, sometimes you're just literally cut out of that archetype, so I'd rather have a card than I'm gonna play in any archetype. Oh, Psy seems very good. I think the one four. I think this is actually fine. I, I I could see taking the divination, but let's try going for. Let's try going a little wide here. Oh, I like a shield mare over a snapping drake just because the ability is more unique. And it's easier to cast. And by easier, I mean cheaper. It's actually more difficult to cast. Yeah, I want to go with the shield mare here. Well, I'm pretty sure it's Arcane Encyclopedia. It's better than Divination. And Gearsmith Guardian, uh, I'm pretty sure we can get more. Also, it triggers Psy, which is super nice. 
Oh, we get another. Oh, one of the machines. Draw cards equal to the highest square mana cost among artifacts you control. This actually seems pretty epic in our deck. If we get one Gearsmith, it's just draw five. Yeah, that's pretty insane. I like this a lot, though. But maybe the other one just comes back. That would be cool. I like a Rogue's Bracers. Rogue's Gloves here. More so with Psy. But also because I think this card is really underrated. Um, I like a Dwindle, but I don't think we're going to necessarily need it. In... In the in the in the is you guys you guys need to consider that like you're you're a blue white deck so your your removal should not be that hard to come by. You should have a lot more opportunities than normal to get removal because of because of white as well as blue. Um, I mean, if we end up dying because we don't have enough dwindles, I I, I that is a that is a potential happening here. I think the life in the 2-4 is probably just better than the 2-1. The yeah, we'll just take the card that's in our color. Yeah, we'll actually just play this guy. I don't think Wall of Mist is actually outside of the realm of possibility for this deck because it looks like we want to go over, over the top with Angels and Thopters and then put them all to sleep. I, I like this guy more than most, I think. And neither of the 3-3s came back. That's really sad. I mean, I still like having Rogue's Gloves. We have a lot of card draw now. We have one with Machine, Arcane, and Rogue's Gloves. Um, oh, Valiant Knight. <laughs> Jugrin giving the Stay Hydrated bot a sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Stay hydrated, bot appreciates it as well. You're a knight. You're a cleric. You're probably the only knight, right? Yeah, we have luminous bonds, angel, valiant knight, and star crown stag. Thanks for the content. It's surprisingly keeps me more productive at work. Wow, that's that I would not have expected. Dim Shadow, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate it, buddy. Um, yeah, we're taking Stag over the bonds there. I also, ooh, I kind of like Johnny's. Now we're going to go with Aviation Pioneer. Right? Like, we have Psy. But it doesn't trigger because it's not... We're not casting an artifact spell. Yeah, it's going to be Aviation Pioneer. It just goes really well with the Angel of the Dawn. Jeez. I guess this guy's actually fine. Whatever. Whatever. Cravens, thanks so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. What are we? Uh, Thank you. Check two with the resub sub train. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Oh, here's an isolate. That's a good one. JK, we're taking the aviation pioneer number dose. I wish this whenever when whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, right? Because that'd be better. I'm always a big fan of the long-time YouTube watchers that, that are able to catch me live when they can. Ooh, Scholar or Take Vengeance? Probably Take Vengeance, even though I like Scholar a lot. We can also take the Gearsmith Guardian because we do have one with the machines. Um, I'm liking it. I'm not hating it. Yeah, I'm going to take the Guardian. I want to make sure I get one of these. If one with the machines is just a, a draw two with Rogue's Gloves... It's not the worst, but it's not exciting. Our deck seems, our deck seems pretty good. I'm a fan of everything we have here. 
You suck, huge fan, by the way. First live vid I've been able to catch. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate uh, that I suck. It's a big fan. Big fan. None of these cards are exciting. I don't like any of the X1s in this format just because of the uh, skeletal archers and whatnot. And Inspired Charge is kind of meh. I mean, we've been blown out by it, but... Oh, do I just take this? I really like Anticipate. Yeah, I don't know, YouTube viewer checking in. Nice! Look at all the... Yeah, I'm going to take this just because we have Psy and we have one with the machines. That's cool. It's a trap. How dare it? Hey, I normally catch you on live, but this is my first time catching you on YouTube. Thumbs up. The world is... Hey, Illusion Sunday GG. Thanks so much. Glad you can finally... Uh, glad you can finally catch me on, on YouTube, even though we're on Twitch right now. But yeah, I like it better when you catch me live. You should do that more often because people miss Soul Mike. Oh, look at that. She came back. She was like, you know what? I know you missed me the first go around, so. I'm going to take Cancel here. Oh, it totally lost its playable. I'm going to take this Highland Lake just in case we want to splash a red card. I'll take a rare. None of these cards are exciting. As a trap, how come there's no Admiral Akbar emote on Twitch? I feel like it's a trap is is common enough uh, parlance that people would have one. Does that make sense? Ooh, Supreme Phantom, Departed Deckhand, or Skilled Animator. Phantom sucks. Deckhand and Animator are both very good. I think it's Deckhand. Yeah, I like Deckhand a lot. Old Hove, I get it, man. You like, I like, I get, you got, I get it. You like the Animator, dude. How is an Animator over Deckhand? Deckhand makes any of our guys unblockable. And it's an unblockable 2-2. This we literally have to have... Yeah, we have two pioneers. So if we draw one of these, this guy is not a 1-3 blank. If we don't have a 1-1 Thopter in play at the time, then we get to make a 5-5. Five five. I, I think this this card is just straight up better. Uh, this, this... Anything that's going to kill... Yeah, you can say that about any creature. Any card you're going to target this guy with is probably going to kill it anyway. Yeah, when it, when it becomes the target of a spell, sacrifice it. Not an ability, so you can't Skeletal Archer it. Yeah, you can make Gloves a creature, but I don't want to because... Like I said, like we only have these three and these two guys. I, I, I understand that you can make these creatures, but I'd rather just have a good creature by itself. I think making other cards like the 3-3s three or... Two fours or five fives unblockable is just better. I don't think we need another one with the machines, unfortunately. Or fortunately. It's probably switcheroo and we can put the totally lost over here. Wow. How many of these have we seen? I'm definitely taking this, though. This is just basically like the skillful artificer, right? It's just almost better. Another switcheroo. I'll take a scholar here. I don't foresee us playing it. I'll take another Gearsmith here. Cut that Dwarven Priest. Another Scholar. I like a Pegasus Courser here. I don't think we need any more card filtering. I don't think we need any more f four mana creatures. I could see an Omen Speaker, but we already have 15 guys, and Pegasus Courser... Actually, what is this? Plus two, plus two, indestructible, huh? Oh, I like Bone to Ash. I don't think we're main decking it, but it is nice to have.
I do like a disperse, however. Although explosive apparatus could be just better with Psy in the deck. It's a little costly, but actually Wall of Mist can come out. I'm surprised we still had that in the deck. Anything else that we don't like? Not really. Our deck looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to take the disperse. This <laughs> skilled animator came back. So you guys, everybody wins. Wow, the other one with the machines came back? I'll take a second one. Sure, why not? Now we need one cut. Probably Knight of the Tusk. That is a late Goblin Motivator. <laughs> they should have an artifact. They should have a legendary creature called Florence, and then you can have you can have an artifact deck with her, and it would call Florence and the Machines, and it would be the best magic pun ever. Our deck looks pretty sweet. We don't have any two drops, unfortunately. This feels kind of trappy, though. Four mana, like you have to spend twelve mana to take a turn. We're gonna take that piece of junk out of here. Probably just want cancel or. Wall of Mist actually could be good in this deck. I think we're going to bring the Wall of Mist back in, ironically enough. Like, we have 16 creatures, 15 of which do... Also, we can just swap the Wall of Mist for Switcheroo. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Plus, we have Disperse for Switcheroo, too, which is pretty cool. All right. All right. Quacker, the problem with uh, Bone to Ash is that it costs four mana, and our four mana slot's pretty spoken for now. I don't want to cut either of these. I don't want to cut this guy. I don't want to cut these. So. D -d -d Draw a card. T -t -t Today, Junior? William William Oath 43, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I will play first. This hand's good if we can hit lands, but boy, do I not want to live that life. Uh, this is significantly better. This is, we're going to live that dream, guys. Can I share a standard deck that you might have fun playing? Sure. Knock yourself out. Appreciate you asking. Oh boy. Um I actually can't keep this on the draw, unfortunately. I wish I could or on the play rather. I wish I could. Oh, nope, not doing that. Alright, cool. I guess we actually could have kept that Psy knowing this planes was here, but we really needed to hit a third land, especially with both of these in hand. Naturalize. All right, sure. Sure. Actually, Psy doesn't really do much because we would have played this on turn two and we just wouldn't have any artifacts. It'd basically just be a one four. So that's fine.
that card is pretty good. Well then, that's obnoxious. Let's animate. Of course, if they kill the stop there, it's pretty rough. No blocks. So I can equip and take vengeance on this guy if you don't have anything good. That seems pretty cool. Oh, I see. Let's get dangerous. That's a good block. Sure. Let's play my last card. I don't really need to hold it. Especially when you could have something... Some shenanigans. They have four cards? Where did all our cards go? Two in the graveyard, two here. We have four on... We have three on board, they have one on board. And then we both have five lands. Oh, this is good. I'm glad we play this island. Man, this 5-5 five five is doing some work here. Glad we picked this skilled animator. Dark wing duck. I am not from Grand Rapids. That's interested interesting though. Oh god, what do you kill here? Five five? Other five five? Skilled animator? Hmm. This is a hard choice for you to make. Skilled animatario. Attack for three. No? Dang. So here's the thing I like to do. We're going to attack with this guy. They're going to double block, but then we get the flyer out of the way so our flyer can start drawing us some cards. Yep. Not ideal trading, uh, trading this way, but... I mean, I do want to start getting getting some crads. It's really like a giant spider. Skeletal archer. Never fails. It literally never... I don't understand. How do you have it every single time? How do they always have it? I'm trying to wrap my head around it. All right, well, we just, it's a good recovery, good recovery. But my God, the frustration. Submerged Boneyard. How nice. Well, they have two cards. 
I have to assume my board is better than your two cards, right? Well, I'm just going to block the Skeletal Archer here. Definitely can't be taking six here. And if you're going to, like, Macabalt and get something back, I'd rather you get the Archer back than the Psychic Symbiont. Sure. Wow, all right. Well, that's your hand, I guess. Pretty sure we can't beat this ridiculous board state, but I guess we'll try. Come on, not a land. Okay, well, another one toughness creature. Four, five, six. All right, well. So they're getting a spell this turn. I up oh, all right literally everybody two three we'll take four five six seven and if you have titanic growth off the top then we're dead What is the hold up? Well, there's a lot of things. Block, block, block. So we got three blockers, which is nice. So we could take two if they attack with this guy. They have no cards. Four, five. Four, five. So anything that costs three or less would be nice here. Take vengeance would be great. I think, of course. All right. Should have kept double blue up just so we can threaten the cancel, but. I mean, they're in top deck mode, which is nice. And we have to block these three guys, because this guy's always getting through for one. So we got a two. Played the forest. Alpha City, huh? Take me down to the Alpha City with the grass is green and the Alpha. Sleep would be sick. Five, six, seven, eight. We also have eight power on board. All right, well. <clears throat> block you. Block you. We have to We have to block both of these guys, unfortunately. If we block here. Well, actually, I guess we could block here and go to one instead. Then Skeletal Archer kills us, if that's what they drew. What's the alternative? We get five, six, seven. We can't kill them. 
But we do get another block next turn. And they get to keep a bunch of dudes. Yeah, I guess this is fine. I mean, Archer wouldn't. All right, well, I guess to <clears throat> get to fight another day. See, the thing is we have to just hit sleep off the top or something because... Problems with just on way too many lands. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten lands, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. Eleven land, another land. Um If we attack with both of these and put them to six, if we draw sleep, it's very, very good, and it probably kills them next turn. If we don't draw sleep, I don't know what we can actually draw. Like we're gonna have two guys. There's no way we can draw two things. I guess we can draw like March. Yeah, I think March can get us back into this game, which is more than one out. Sleep is still good, but March gets us back into the game as well. So, yeah, Wall of Mist doesn't do it. Great. That was exciting. Nope. Nope. All right. Well, I, I said March. It was uh, one with the machines, is what I meant, obviously. Uh, nope. I think we're actually fine. Our deck, our deck is fine. I'm not. Well, we only had one scholar, and the scholar was in the graveyard, so. I don't hate Dwarven Priest here. I'm going to submit with Dwarven Priest hastily to make sure we get it in there. I actually like this hand. Rupture Spire every day. Oh, yeah. Big spirits. Big spirits incoming. Big spurts. Oh, I see. I don't have anything to do this turn, so I'm just going to make this dude unblockable and attack for four. Yeah, we just get to go Guardian next turn and then draw five. I'm okay with that. Sure. So long, little cavalry gentleman.
Don't have an answer for this guy, I guess. That's our hope. This isn't a skeleton spirit, right? That would be really sad if I just run my spirit pirate into another spirit. Our sub goal is at 311. Then a lot of things, dumb, dumb. Know that we will always be downtown. If I ever did anything, you, you, then just let me do it now. Keep my feet on the ground. What are you, just skeleton archer who hit me for one? That seems unimpressive. Keep my head in the cloud. I mean, it's just better than your druid, right? So, deal. Can we just attack for seven next turn? <laughs> you have any spirits over here? That's pretty good. I might just do that. Mox Amber is the color of your energy. Oh, shades of Mox display naturally. I feel like we just attack for seven, and then they're basically just dead with Angel next turn. I think you deal 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But then they're tapped out. I mean, this is risky, but... I don't think they have any spirits. Alright, they're at 3. Are we just doing it with the with the Departed Deckhand? And this is why I picked Departed Deckhand, because it's just so much better than Skilled Animator, man. Like, it's just such a good card. Oh, well, it's less good now, but still. It's still good. Can't wait for the meaty golem to kill Artie boy. What does that mean? What? You you can't wait for their meaty golem to kill our artifact? Why would you want that though? That seems bad for us. So if I have any way to get rid of Meteor Golem, I just win the game? Well, of course I don't. But there's still a chance. Well, we don't have a chance now. I think we just lost, so that's cool. They have to block. We block here, we take three, four, f we, we block two guys, we take three, six, seven. That's amazing. Absolutely f incredible. <laughs> that's fantastic. Oh, I love this game so much. Everybody's having a good time, except for those paying to play Magic the Gathering. That's a song I wrote. Yeah, I could see us getting greedy there. I mean, so alternatively, if we play Angel, we can attack for this. They have to block. We have two blockers. We can go block, block. We go to three. But, I mean, we're drawing five cards. The odds of us hitting something that we can play there, like Aviation Animators, or Aviation Aviators, good. Um, like, they just had to have this, which kills our guy. And gives them a 3-3. Three, three. Like, if we play Angel, this is a 4-5, so they have to block it. And we still get two blockers. It keeps us alive for sure, but... Eh. I don't know. What can you do? I mean, we have Disperse in our deck. We also had... Uh, Nah. I think we just want to hit the disperse. That was our that was our goal. Yeah, I'll keep this six card one one spell hand because I don't want to go to five. Because I think that would be worse for us. Then just let me do it now, now, now. Keep my head. Yep. Skilled animator with no artifacts. <sighs> well, 
like you do. Would you ever check out Penny's uh, the format? Probably not. I just don't have I don't have the um, the time really. Like it's the same thing. It's I mean I can't play Popper. I can't play other card games like Eternal. Like there's plenty of reasons why I just can't. Yeah, we'll just play this guy because I don't foresee us drawing an artifact in before we draw an artifact. Also, I like playing with good like expensive cards so i can't imagine playing like a um what is it i don't even know what the format is like is it just like popper Thanks for keeping me cold during this 112 heat index I'm dealing with over here. Z-Trade, thank you so much for the for the, the the bits. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, fantastic. A bunch of artifact cards that don't do anything. I'm having a good time. Oof. Would love to take vengeance. This is my problem with take vengeance. Like, you always like, all right, when they untap, I'm going to take vengeance to this guy. And then they always play something better than what you want to take vengeance. And it just ends up being worse. It's cards that are 0.01 cents checked. Oh, that's really weird. That's super weird. I mean, not bad, but, but like, it's very strange to like keep track of that kind of thing. Yep, I was like, oh cool, we'll double block this guy. Nope, guess not. Guess we'll just take eight. <sighs> oh, I meant nine. Yep, that guy will do it. All right, we're done. I had a fun time. Sorry, I'm getting a little salty, guys. I apologize in advance. Um... I hate formats like this because there's very little room to, to... There's no wiggle room, right? Like, once your opponent gets in a position like that, it's very hard to be like, oh, well, I, I can draw a card that brings me back in this game. I don't even know if Psy is great in our deck. It's actually just a 1-4. I don't have any raisins. I'll keep this hand. I don't. Again, I don't think it's great. Like this is the second card, the second time this card has been a blank for us. And like at least this is a three three for four, which is a fine rate. And at any time, if you draw an artifact after you play this, it's still very very good. So I mean, you can see why I wouldn't take this very highly, and I think the reason is pretty obvious. I'm only here to watch you eat. Well, that's awkward. That's a weird thing to say. My god, look at all these terrible flyers. Yep, I was hoping to draw a land there because that would put us in real good shape, but <laughs> nope. Oh, good times. I'm just going to pass here. What is this ridiculous neonate party? I'm going to sneeze in a second. I don't want to play this because it just wastes the ability, but... Whatever, I guess. I 
I don't know why they didn't attack with these three last turn. I can only block one of them. Block with Rustwing and then sack it to the Ravenous Harpy? Sure. That's fine. I'm only here to watch you hydrate. Keep drinking. Okay. Keep my feet on the ground. I'm gonna get rid of this now because if we want to, if we if we draw five, we want to be able to take advantage of one of these guys. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Actually, we probably should have made this guy float, but then they just trade. I guess we're losing two and they're gaining two, but. Oh, they use both black. That's fantastic. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's colorless. All right. I was like, yes, they use both black. That's great news. But then that doesn't matter because it's a colorless activation instead of a black activation, which is not what I expected. Fascinating. All right. That's fine. Bull, that's okay. All right, well, this angel's going to be pretty powerful here. Very strong wizard. We don't have a blue card, though, which is bad. Because this guy's not going to be huge. I guess it's still going to be pretty huge. Uh, you kill everything. Yeah, everything's fine. Uh, you can't go in there, actually. So, just these guys. Are you just going to take 13? Seems good. I accept. I'm only here to get clips and quotes. Clips and quotes is the name of my, my, my barber shop. You guys want to come to clips and quotes? Oh. Interesting. Speak of the devil. Huh. Unfortunately, all of our creatures are good, but I think this is worse than this. So. I'll do that. And they're tapped out, which is the perfect time to do this. In case you guys didn't know. Oh, I guess that's all it takes. Alright. Well, I got a bunch of floaters. A bunch of floaty boys. I don't know if that's good. Mighty Leap could be good. I'm gonna bring in this bone to ash. You never go bone to ash, guys. Just keep that in mind. I don't like switcheroo when they got a bunch of sacrifice dudes. Wall of mist doesn't seem like it's doing that much work here. I'll bring in the mighty leap. All right, not bad, not bad. Oh, I like one with, uh, this, is, this is nice, this guy into this guy into this guy. If we can draw another white man in between, we can go three, four, five, six. All right, actually that's a good, that's a good middle ground area as well. And then we can equip the Thopter, so. Wow, so aggressive. Actually, now we're just going to equip... Uh, 
Now we're just going to equip this guy to make sure we hit a land next turn. Yes, I will draw. See, this is what we would have drawn. We wouldn't even hit a land. Apparently, I don't, I don't get to draw extra cards in my games unless we... Uh, yeah, this game's over. I mean, they hit two lands. They're they're stuck on lands. I definitely know the feeling. I really wish um, so many of our games were not determined by missing land drops from either me or my opponents. Is Angel good here? Angel seems pretty good here. Send me an angel oh, right now. No blocks whatsoever. All right, well, a bold strategy, Cotton. And that's the end. All right, well, that was not a reasonable game, unfortunately. <sighs> cha cha cha. I'm heading out dinner time. It's only 5:30, man. What are you, my grandpa? What are you, my grandfather? JK, I don't have any grandfathers left. It's real sad. It's never too late or too early for egg salad. That's true. That's true. It is always time for Hungry Howies. All of these are accurate. These are all accurate statements, guys. I appreciate the accuracy of these statements. Um, I don't hate this hand. I wish I had a better target for my switcheroo, but I assume we'll draw something stupid like a 1-2. I will keep this hand. Is today Chicken Sunday? Come on, you know the answer to that. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Okay. Oh, thanks. I forgot. I got you. I got you. I was hoping for a departed deckhand. That card is OP. Overpowered. God, my, my kingdom for an essence scatter. Jester Pooh, have a good afternoon, buddy. Or night, whatever, whatever time it is for you. I don't assume to know. Chicken Taco Twin Day. That's... Nailed it. Oh, look, an animator that doesn't do anything again. This is the life we lead. We just get trolled by this animator that you guys, you guys begged me to take. All draft. I'm real tempted to just bring this guy out because he's not... Not doing, not doing it for me. I'm so tired of this card, man. Card, man! I guess Animator did wheel, so it didn't take it over anything special, but nevertheless, now we know why it wheeled. Never, now we know why. This guy's gonna get Lich's caressed. 
I guess we could. We could just switch over the animator. We can steal this Dryad Green Seeker. Oh, that guy's just beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful, it's true. Oh, look, now the animator is doing some work. I saw your face. He's still a 1-3. Yeah, that's what I want in this format. I want a 1-3 for 3 mana. That's where the that's where the wins come. And I don't know what to do. Na 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 na. Why is this is this James Blunt? Is that who I'm singing right now? <laughs> we have a good time. Don't hit, all right? No, okay, well, they always do. Do it again during your upkeep. Dang it, they did. Yeah, it's James Blunt. <laughs> oh, James Jazz Cigarette, otherwise known as. Your last name is Blunt? La, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, I'll take two. If my name was James Blunt, I would definitely change my name to Jazz James James Jazz Cigarette. I'm gonna bounce that. I'm gonna actually do I switch with that guy? Do I switch with you? So I'm gonna bounce this dude. Switch him with this dude. Hmm. Give it to me. Wow, they had another forest. Boy, the rich get richer. The rich get richer. Next time we can just deckhand to make this guy unblockable so we can attack for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I see. Oh, well then. Stag seems less less threatening than the Pegasus Courser, to be honest. I want to modern with you guys. Can I modern with you guys? Hey guys, can I come modern with you? I want to play some modern Magic the Gathering. Well, that draws us literal zero cards, so that's unfortunate. Now we get a 5-5 five, five floater, though. Quick, get on a bus! I'll get on a bus. Get on the bus. That's a song I wrote about. Well, it's about buses, to be honest. You have an hour and a half. Get moving. I, I bet I could make it there. I couldn't make it there in an hour and a half. Is it going to be a land now? It, w it was not a land. I think his floater has a poop euphemism. Oh, they. I, I think they saw their top card and they're like, oh, I can't win with that. So that's good. That's good. Never go bone to ash, guys. Never do it. Poop jokes, always funny. 
Yeah, you're right. It's all about that doo-doo. <laughs> What's all that chocolate on your lips? Chocolate? That's doo-doo, baby. I think we're just going to submit like this. I don't foresee us. Uh, not I, I, This wall of mist is like my most questionable card in the deck. I might just want the bone to ash. It's just a better card, right? I just want cancel to be honest. I'm just gonna bring in the cancel. Cancel. Remember that time we had uh, this artificer and it made that five five. That was a cool time. That was cool. I had a good time. Oh yeah, this is a keeper. This is a sneaker. Have you watched the three new I've watched I think I've watched all of them, yes. There was a bunch at any given time. Oh, there you go. Hey, there you go. Look, let's get a little canceling. Let's do the cancel again. Is it worth getting this guy down before we have a thing to pump? Probably not, just because they can play any one three and nullify it. Whereas we can just go this into these two guys. Oof, that seems aggressive. So if, if we played this, yeah, they would have just blocked with their 1-3 all day. It would have just been a stupid blank. A big, dumb idiot. Uh, This is 5-5 five, five artifact flyer, though. That's pretty good. Boom, 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 boom. Next time we can also just go Cavalry Drillmaster and keep up Cancel, which is nice. Did they hit? Oh, they didn't hit. Good times. I like it when our opponents don't draw extra cards. That's my favorite part of magic. <laughs> Can you not do that? Thanks. That'd be great, okay? So if we double block here, only one of these guys dies. I, I kind of want to do that. Because I don't really care about either of these guys. I mean, Titanic Growth is such a blowout here, but... Yeah. Oh wow. And they oh oh they they ordered incorrectly. That's pretty good for us. That was the best trade we could have ever asked for. This uh no bueno. Oh biscuits. Alright, see now this is a big this is a big thopter, guys. I don't wanna brag, but this might be the biggest thopter. Actually, we might just put it on like this guy. And then we'll attack with the uh for 10 instead. For 7 12 instead. And now they have to either block with green seeker or basilisk, which is good for us going forward. I'm pretty actually I'm pretty sure if we just actually played a little more conservatively in uh round one, we might have been able to win that too. I think this is definitely a 3 0 deck. But what can you do? You You take your licks and you you move on.
16 ounces of water to maintain optimum hydration. Oh, this dryad green seeker is going in the trash can. Oh, unless they have indomitable strength, abdominal strength, working them cores, them pentium cores. They could have. They could just have tit grow there. What's tit? If they had it, they would have used it last turn. They didn't have it because they didn't use it last turn when I double blocked their two-headed zombie. So, I mean, nothing they have had indicates that they have that. Otherwise, they would have used it. <laughs> tit grow. <laughs> Gas. Can't even. Oh lord, good times. I'm not gonna play. So I'm gonna draw a card here. And if they want to block with their guy, that's totally fine. Our, our hand is much better than theirs. I have to assume. This is nice freebie. All right. Yeah, Cypherus gets us an extra 1-1, one, one, but I'd rather just be able to use this this turn instead of just waiting. And then they play this next turn, and we just can't get through. I, I mean, I guess we'd have the 1-1, one, one, but... I mean, I... Um, I'm pretty sure I can just keep Cancel up here. I don't think we played Aether Shield Artificer yet. Yeah, this is fine. We got two, three, four. Yeah, I'll just take five. We're at 20. Next time we can play Artificer and still keep up. Cancel. Looks like we're not going to have to because this guy's getting canceled. Where my switcheroo at? Yeah, let's draw two. That's not super exciting. I mean, there's only one other card that actually is better than that here. So what do we have? We have seven mana. We can actually play this. If we hit a land. It's actually not terrible. We can bounce. We can bounce this guy. Just force them to replay it. And then we can actually. Yeah, let's do that. Because I'm not too worried about him after we get Starcrown Stag down. I like this. This is nice. Give me a land. Oh boy. Any land next turn is great because we can go stag into sleep, which is probably just game over. I can't imagine that game is going to go much longer after that. They're at six? Oh, I didn't realize they were at six. Yep. Our opponent is in the chat. I'm assuming they're not watching because I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. But always disconcerting. Yeah, and this is why we take sleep over the other one. Did you see the Commander 2018 spoilers? I saw like one of them. 
I saw the one, I saw the Genesis wave for artifacts. <coughs> one of my favorite things is having these, these LED lights over here uh, for the stream. <laughs> Why didn't you use that? Yeah, you should have used that several turns ago. I know the feeling of getting too gritty in this format. Um, one of the, my favorite things is the streamlight because I can, whenever I have to sneeze, I can just look right at it and the sneeze just comes right out. It's great. Um, yeah, we're going to switch these two. Oh no. Oh no, I couldn't. Oh, dang it. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. You guys have been great. Slam those like and subscribe buttons if you've enjoyed the content. If you haven't enjoyed the content and you want to give me a dislike, I accept that, but just let me know why, and then we can improve upon that in the future. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to support me on Patreon or Twitch, you can check out the links, both of them in the, in the description of the video below, or you can check out any of these, uh, these links that have popped up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.